Hey everyone, welcome to another video from Nielsen Networking. Uh, for this video, I thought it made sense to go over something that just popped up on my vulnerability scanner, and this is something known as Win Verify Trust Signature Validation Vulnerability. Uh, this is actually something that has been out, well, it's been a, it's been known since 2013, and uh, Microsoft originally, you know, admitted this was a thing out there, but they came across as it was kind of just an optional um, level of validation you can enable, and um, they said there's just two register keys, and that was their, you know, install these if you want, kind of opt-in is what they actually called it. You could opt-in to the um, higher level. So anyway, people, you know, were a little upset, so finally Microsoft said, okay, fine, and like in 2014, yeah, fine, we'll, we'll make this part of the default, and then if they want to change it, they can go down or disable it. Well, that didn't work because that actually caused grief with their um, software being installed due to their authentic code. So in 2014, they just scrapped it and said, you know what, if you want to use this, go ahead and um, you know do what we said originally and just opt in and put those registry keys with the values that effectively enable it. So come 2022, in January of 2022, after numerous reports of this vulnerability being exploited and ransomware being installed, among other things, um, Microsoft republished this vulnerability. And that, I believe, is why it just popped up on my radar. So I will put the URL here to um, exact, you know, the, the CVE here, and you can kind of read it, but I just kind of give you the background of what it is. So we're going to need these two registry keys, and we're looking for ones with 64 bit. So the first two are going to be 32, then 64 to enable it. And the ones below it are going to be to disable it. So we want the effectively the second one because that's 64 bit and that's what we have here. We're going to go ahead and copy that, drop down to the desktop here and do a new text document. And we're going to want to name that. Why don't we just name it win trust uh, dot reg for registry files. As long as your notepad is associated with registry, you can just hit edit. We're going to paste it. We're going to save it. And we're going to get out of it. And then we're going to right click on it. And we're just going to do merge. Um, and you're going to go ahead and do this. And it's going to give you a prompt that, you know, do you really want to do this? You're going to hit yes. Then it's going to ask you again, do you want to do it? You're going to hit yes. And then it's going to tell you it was installed. And we can verify it was installed by going to the reg editor, going to oh, those nice local machines already open. Software, Microsoft, uh, Cryptography, Wintrust Config 1. So we're good there. Uh, and just for giggles, we might as well go and check the 64 node here. Microsoft. Da, 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 da. And there you are. So it's good. So if you just wanted to push this out to a single person, uh, you could just double click this and run it on their desktop, right click and merge. If you wanted to push it to multiple people, you could do that with a simple, you know, batch file. You could probably, let me see if I can just show you how it would kind of look here. Run as admin. You have to run it as admin, uh, or it will tell you you don't have rights. So we're going to go here, and we're going to go reg for registry, and we're going to go import. And we're going to, oops, what did I do there? Oh, shoot, I accidentally pasted the uh, <laughs> registry key. That's not what we wanted to do. So we wanted to do this instead. Reg imports. And this should be the... There we go. That's what I meant to paste. I don't know how that registry key got in there. And it's going to be wintrust.reg. So you could literally just put this in a batch file or if you had another program and have that be kind of like the um, the command it's going to run. You go ahead and do it. And it's going to say it was completed successfully. And again, that would put it into registry. So there's other ways you could do it. If you had it in tune, you could actually bundle this into a, an in tune uh, Win32 app. And you could push it out that way. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Um, or whatever other tool you use to um, manage your desktops or your servers. But anyway. That's it for that. Pretty straightforward. I just wanted to get it out there since it was new. If anyone had any trouble with this, um, 
Or if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, I'd greatly appreciate a like since we're a new channel here. Any, any love is appreciated. Uh, we do plan to put a bunch of stuff similar to this content out there. You know, going from anything from Linux, VMware, Windows, uh, maybe a little Mac if my wife cons me into getting on her computer. Uh, and there's all kinds of random things. And we also, uh, we did put a series up there for our, uh, security awareness if you'd want to check that out as well. But we plan to put a lot of content out over these next upcoming weeks and continue doing so. So thank you. Have a great day. Talk to you later.